Uh, so the first question. Okay, the first question states okay, uh, use the data over some of the bottom device kind of take a data synergy. Uh, use the data in the table below and relevant data from the data booklet to calculate the lattice synergy of potassium oxide. So, can the the bond able cycle. So, this is the the cycle. So, this the cycle. So, this is 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 uh, and it's going to be formed from its elements, which would be potassium. Plus the other element is going to be oxygen gas. Okay, or half oxygen over or two potassium. Okay, they would be solid. And uh, this one is going to be gas. Or ye to peri, ye wala to peri solid. Okay, isko next ko bhi bolne ka. Okay, this one is already a solid. And then you have the enthalpy of formation. And that's the enthalpy change of formation given minus 361 kilojoules per mole. Okay, that is already provided. Then you would go on to create another path. Okay, you would create this secondary path. And this is step-wise. Okay, step-wise, how would you form potassium oxide? Starting with potassium and oxygen. The first step was atomization. You scale what you would do is the uh, potassium to pele atomized kalo. So there would be uh, two potassiums, but this time they're going to be gaseous. Plus half oxygen gas molecule. Now, the enthalpy change of atomization of potassium here was given that it was plus 89. Aisha calculator, you can keep it. That it was plus 89. What do you do after that? After that, the oxygen molecule is atomized. It has bonds in it. So, the potassium is very gaseous. Plus, oxygen, half oxygen molecules के bonds तोड़ते थे oxygen का gas के साथ बनता था और इधर bond energy use करते थे क्योंकि oxygen oxygen molecule के bond तोड़े हो तो that was 496 लेकिन divide by two क्योंकि आप half molecule के bond तोड़े हो और फिर next step uh, ionization था कि potassium would lose electrons तो that would become अच्छा ये into two होगा क्योंकि दो potassium है ठीक है so this uh, would be multiplied by two because you have two potassium. Numbers of moles of yard like now. And then you had potassium, which was uh ionized in there, so that would become plus one. And it would lose two electrons in total. Or those you side for this oxygen, which remains unchanged. Uh ye gaseous uh, potassium. This was the first ionization energy of potassium, which you have uh data book records in the car look. So if you open the data booklet, this is potassium key ionization that you have find out. Karo. You must close that in a second. So here potassium key ionization energy would be given somewhere, uh, somewhere over here. It's given as 418. Four okay, so you're provided with the ionization energy of potassium, which is 418, but that's going to be multiplied by 2 because you have 2 potassium. Up here, uh, the next step would be that uh, oxygen gains these two electrons, which potassium will lose here. So you have 2 potassium ions. They have lost two electrons and oxygen ended up gaining those two electrons. Uh, this is gaseous, this is also gaseous. So, this electron affinity is oxygen or oxygen minus one case, minus 141. 
and plus 798. And the last step is that's your lunch. Okay, that's the last step. Or I think question he was asking you to calculate the lunch. So that's the lunch. So that means uh, so you've created this complete cycle. Okay, the only thing you have to take care of now is uh, the number of modes. In the of formation, one mole of substance is formed from two potassium oxygens. Two potassiums got atomized, so if you have two uh, half oxygen molecules, they got atomized. Uh, that means breaking the oxygen oxygen double bond, that's 496 divided by 2. Potassium was ionized. We have to find out the data out and there were two potassium, so you multiply by two because the oxygen is one oxygen atom gaining two electrons with the value. Yahabe given it of a last pair of the idea. So it's sorry for one part is equal to the other part because you have, uh, let's say you have this is one part and the other part is going to be this completely other route to get to the same location. So it's called solve So it's going to be minus 361. Which is going to be equal to so one part, part number one. It's going to be equal to plus 89 into two. The other one is plus 496 times two divided by two, actually. That's a plus 418 into two. And then you have uh, minus 141 plus, uh, so it's minus 141 plus 798. And the last one is lattice energy, that's unknown. Now solve this entire thing on your calculator and tell me what the value is. Because of minus 2280, that's your value. As a very, uh, the next part is state whether the lattice energy of Na2O would be more negative, less negative, or the same as that of K2O. Give reasons for your choice. Uh, what reason will be? Na2O or K2O? Which lattice energy will be more? Two ID. Na2O. Factors. What are they? Number one. What are they? Uh, Smaller lines only, so the stronger lines. Over. TK factors also give reasons to USM. A second factor was the greater charge over, so it's going to have a stronger lattice. So you're going to have a stronger. Lattice as well. Okay, two reasons, two things. Smaller and shorter and over. So go very deep. Okay, it's going to be more attraction. So in those scenarios, can the lattice energy would be greater. In those, you call it. You call it. You call it uh, what word do you use? You use. Uh, you call it charge density. Okay, this was referred to as charge density. Charge density was proportional to uh, uh, the charge. Divided by the by the atomic radius, uh, inversely proportional to atomic radius. Uh, that was charge density. So, uh, this particular case, man, I should call the factor important over. Because why is sodium oxide having a greater atomic radius? Atomic radius, okay. You can charge the group by exactly same. As a next one is uh, writing the equation to represent the lattice energy of sodium oxide. Uh, to go to uh, lattice energy of lattice energy definition, here was the given an ionic lattice is formed from its constituent as a from its constituent gaseous ions. So they're going to be two sodium ions plus. From its gaseous ions and O minus 2 ions. Okay. 
ये ही होंगे ना यस एंड दे शुड बी गैशेस आई दे शुड गेट टुगेदर एंड फॉर्म द आयनिक बॉन्ड आफ्टर फॉर्म द आयनिक आयंस और एग्जैक्टली वही बॉन्ड एबल साइकिल है जो पिछले में इस स्टेप के uh iska matlab aapko identify karna padega each one of the steps uh this one is given uh this is enthalpy of atomization of sodium so you can what would happen in enthalpy of atomization of sodium a sodium is going to change into sodium gaseous atoms so ye to ye ho gaya acha aisha this other step ye what would you call this step the one that covered what name would you give it to this analysis well what happened in this step oxygen nothing happened to us well what happened to sara do you have any idea of lattice energy ऐसे यहाँ पे व्हाट्स व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन सोडियम चेंज टू सोडियम आइन्स तो इट्स आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी फर्स्ट दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट आयनाइजेशन एनर्जी ऑफ सोडियम आइए इस दिस क्लियर और यस सर इनटू टू क्योंकि दे टू सोडियम्स ऐसे नेक्स्ट वन इज इट्स हार्डली ऑफ आयनाइजेशन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन तो ऑब्वियसली ऑक्सीजन आइटम्स � Uh, because this half oxygen molecule, okay. I said so then uh, this step number two. Uh, nothing happened to sodium. Sodium remained exactly the same. So what happened in this step? Oxygen changed into oxygen minus two. So it's gaining electrons. So it's the electron affinity. Uh, what you're going to call it is that it's the electron affinity of oxygen plus. The electron affinity of oxygen minus one. ठीक है, because the first the oxygen got converted into oxygen minus one, so that the first electron affinity or electron affinity of oxygen, and then oxygen minus one got converted into oxygen minus two, and gained the second electron, so that's the electron affinity of oxygen minus one. अच्छा, अगला step है, this is the last energy. And number four, any idea what number four is? Formation. ठीक है, this is the enthalpy change of. This is the enthalpy change of formation. ठीक है, that's that's number four. So we've we've done one, two, three, four. Uh, and this thing we just did. तो उसको छोड़ देते हैं। How would you expect? As a the question, how would you expect the uh, lattice energy of uh, magnesium oxide to compare with sodium oxide? So you have magnesium oxide and you have sodium oxide. Which versus? You cannot plus. अच्छा, who's going to have a stronger lattice? And sodium oxide is energy. Any idea, Sara? Aisha, any idea? Magnesium. You get what's the reason? Smaller radius. Uh, yes, that is a factor. Uh, because because uh, uh, in the draw table, NA and NB are right next to each other, right? NA has eleven protons, NB has twelve protons. Uh, NA forms the plus one ion. Mg forms the plus two ion. They both have the same number of electrons, ten electrons. Okay, so the electronic configuration is exactly the same, except that Mg has twelve protons. So uh, when you move across the period, whenever you move across the period, uh, so whenever you move across the period, uh, the size of the uh, ions. Uh, and cations especially decreases because you have more protons. 
So it is smaller. So you have a smaller ionic radius for mg. But that's not the dominating factor because, because the radius is going to be, I mean, there's going to be a very negligible difference. See, I can show you in the prior in this data booklet that the difference because they're right next to each other. So the difference would not be that much. Let me just take over here. So you're going to find you go you're going to find NA and NG somewhere. Let me just do 14. So in period three, so NA and NG, the difference is there, but it's not like a drastic difference. It's just uh, this was 0.18, this is 0.16, but it, it, it is going to be a factor. What's the what's the more dominating factor? I mean, there are always two factors. The other one is the charge, because plus two over here, NG has double the charge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Was another dominating factor. You get double, you spend double the fuck, and it's plus one, MG is plus two. As I say, the use of magnesium oxide, I explain how it, uh, now magnesium oxide, as I remember, there's a thing called ceramics. TK, you did this in AS as well. Ceramics are, I mean, they're substances that have a few properties that they have uh, high melting points. Uh, they're insulators, they don't conduct electricity, especially in solid state. And they just don't have, they don't just have high melting points and melting points are very, very high. So these are ceramics. And uh, there's some very popular ceramics. One is uh, uh, SiO2. I mean, sand is a ceramic material because you make you make uh, their clay ovens, you get, they can resist very high temperatures. Uh, the other one, I mean, you make a lot of things out of clay. Then there's aluminum oxide, that's that's a ceramic material, and magnesium oxide is also a ceramic material. Although they, one of them is a covalent molecule, the other ones are ionic, but they share these properties. Although magnesium oxide and aluminum oxide, they do conduct electricity in molten state, but they're not going to melt. In solid state, they are insulated. So they are used, especially magnesium oxide. MGO is often used as furnace lining. Because it has a very high lattice energy. Okay? And the same goes with aluminum oxide. Uh, uh, you have these power lines, high transmission power lines. Uh, all the insulation done is done using these materials. You can't use plastic. You can't use. I mean, if you have a high voltage transmission line, uh, all the connectors, etc., are made out of uh, these things. Out of these three things. Okay, is this clear? Car is this clear? I should clear. Yes, sir. Yeah, sir. The third thing, try solving this question and send send me the uh, send me a picture of the of the working. Yeah, send me the answer. Calcium chloride the first. Or you send me the working as well. I mean, you have to construct a bond neighbor cycle. And the things that are provided to you are uh, the enthalpy formation is provided. Uh, the enthalpy of atomization of calcium is provided and the electron affinity of chlorine. So from the data booklet, you would need to start constructing this. So from the data booklet, you would need a first plus second ionization energy of calcium. And you might also need the chlorine chlorine bond energy. because you might want to break that, okay? So try your...